you don't party you don't do all this crazy stuff like you're in your 20s like go live and be right, free right. it's like I could do that if I wanted to because yep. I have control over everything I do in my life but there is so much out there why would I do what every other person is doing if I want a different outcome than everyone else has yep that's just doesn't make sense Doing it for yourself doesn't mean we are selfish or it doesn't mean I'm self-centered. Doing it for myself means I'm prioritizing myself. Coming from a community where I'm raised just to do for others and we are in a world whereby we are constantly stimulated just to do things for others. Oh, I'm doing that so that they can see me and that person. I am doing this so that they can know who I am. That is just bullshit. And that does not contribute anything to ourselves. Having a relationship with your Lord is where it all starts. If you don't have a relationship with your Lord, I don't know what you're doing. And if you want to start doing something for yourself, start with that relationship. For there is nothing better than when you have a relationship with your Lord, the one who created you. It's not just praying my daily prayers, but it's a way for me to go back and say, thank you. Alhamdulillah, you have brought me here. A place of gratefulness. Prayer is a place of gratefulness as much as it is a place of asking and as much as it's a place of us going back and, you know, repenting for what we did. I was told that whatever you write down does not count or it doesn't help you. But they just lie to me. Journaling is a mental loss. It's for me re removing everything that is in my mind. I remove. It's a place where I find ease and comfort. A place where I write down my, my thoughts. It's a place where... I find confidence is a place where I find therapy. Subhanallah so, khair. I'm going to go to the hospital and uh, I'm taking breakfast. So this is what we are having for breakfast. I'm having uh, porridge. I'm also having one banana, one egg. But before I take my breakfast, I'm going to take my shot. And basically that is for breakfast. I will not be taking juice. I'll be taking uh, tea because I don't have time to make juice. And the hospital is one and a half hours away from me. That is how far it is. And today I'm not feeling well. So I basically need to, you know, go early so that I don't have to rush. The reason why I'm taking porridge is because it soothes my heart. I just added black pepper and I added um, but soda, black pepper and what is it called, the other one, black seed, black pepper and black seed, so that's what I'm having in the porridge, so it can help me with my recovery, and that is basically it. <laughs>
want to lose weight, you want to gain weight, you want to come out of laziness, you want to come out of depression, you want to let go, you want to heal, you want to move on, you want to be productive, you want to speak up, you want to be more confident, you want to eat healthy, you want to go to the gym, you want to shave your head, you want to do something for you, just do it for you. Let it be for you, for your own good. If it is contributing for your for your own good, if it is contributing to your health, if it is contributing to your confidence, if it is going to contribute to your education, if it is going to contribute to your leveling up, do it. Just do for yourself. Doing it means you do everything that is good for you. You don't go to drink. You don't go for drinking. You don't go for clubbing. You stop praying. You stop putting God in the center of your life. That is not doing it for you. Doing it for you means everything that is positive, everything that matters in life, everything that contributes to your health, to your wealth, to your well-being, that is doing it for you. It contributes to your confidence, it contributes to your bank account, it contributes to your health, it contributes to your leveling up. That is doing for you, that is doing it. Do that thing, but if it is not contributing, now that is not doing it. That is not doing it, and that is not where the journal is supposed to be. That is not where we're supposed to go. Doing it for yourself is like doing everything that is good and everything that matters. Staying late at night to work on that project. Writing that resignation letter. Leaving that abusive relationship. Leaving that toxic friendship group. Starting a new relationship with your parents. Prioritizing the closer people in your circle. Prioritizing love, prioritizing healing, prioritizing moving forward, prioritizing peace and tranquility, prioritizing a life that is free of anxiety, a life that is free of regretfulness, a life that is just you, a life that you do everything just for you, everything that is good for you, for your own good, just do it. I don't know what you want to do. I don't know what you're holding back. And I don't know what's holding you back. I'm just here to tell you, do it for yourself. Whatever it might be, just do it for yourself. Go to that library. Start studying. Work on that project. Have a gentle talk with yourself. Have some goals. Write them down. Drink that one liter of water every day. Eat your vegetables. Eat healthy. Do your own skincare. Don't care what people say. Don't be bothered what they tell you. Just do it for yourself. Let it be a world that is just you. Working on your dreams. Working on what you value. Working on what means good for you. Working on that thing. That is how we're supposed to live our lives and that is how we are supposed to go with our lives. A life of ease. We don't live for others. We live for ourselves. The most regretful thing people have is like, I wish I knew better. I wish I did it for myself. I wish I didn't take whatever they told me. Don't regret it. Do it for you.